Okay, so in this new lecture, what I'd like to do is to work on more details on the right side of our building over here. So what I'd like to do first is we're going to be beveling these two uh, buildings. After that, we're going to be creating the neon signs, this neon sign, and we're going to be creating the pipes related to it. And after that, we're going to be creating our traffic cons, adding our air conditioner and adding our trash, our trash cans, and we will finish by adding these pipes. So it's going to be a lot of work. So let's get down to it. By the way, this is a tutorial series that's going to help you make this short film animation based on a real reference, this Japanese street. All right, so let's get down to it. So first, let's select this building over here. I'd like to work on it first. So let me check its scale. Yeah, it, the scale is fine. So we can over here add, let's add the, the, the bevel modifier to these edges, reduce it down a little bit. And let's increase those segments to three, right click and shade smooth. Also over here on the bottom, there is no need to keep this face on the bottom. I'm going to just remove it. X, remove this face. Now, good. Okay, so let's do the same thing for this second building. You can also do this, select the first one. Select this one first and this one and hit control G. And that same modifier is going to be applied to this one. Also, let's delete the bottom face. And now we're good to go. Okay, so our next step is going to be to add this sign over here. You can see that we're having some sign on this building. So shift S, cursor to select it. Shift A, mesh cube. I'm going to scale it way down like this. Hit period on the number pad and scale on the X axis by 0.2. All right, so let's bring it outside over here. Check it up. Okay, scale on the Y axis to something like this. Also, let's bring it outside. And I'd like to jump into my camera perspective. And let's have a match. Let's see it from here. So it's actually over here. So let's scale it on the Y axis even more like this. Scale it on the Z and basically that's it. Okay, so now let's work on it separately. So what I'd like to do is you can see we need to bring it outside. We're having some, uh, maybe, yeah, let's, let's see from here. Actually, it has to be like this. But doing, the, doing it that way is going to be uh, resulting in some clipping with this building. So something like this will be fine. There is no need to have it 100% matching our reference. So over here I'm going to be adding the bevel modifier. Control A, apply the scale to fix that problem. And let's take it way down. Increase those segments to 3. And over here I'm going to be deleting these two faces. Hit X, delete. Hit A to select everything. Hit E and scale Shift X to go inside. Let me also scale it on the z-axis a little bit, like this. Select everything, scale on the x. Good. Okay, so our next step is going to be to add the, the inside part of our sign. So we can hit Alt from here. Shift D, duplicate it. Scale on the x-axis like this. And also let me grab these, Alt, and hit F to fill that gap. And let's do the same thing over here. So select and hit F to fill those gaps. Nice. Also, I think for the width, I would like to reduce it to 0.1. Good. Right click, shade smooth. And also over here, let's add these handles. So Control R, insert two handles like this. Alt, select these, scale Z to make it flat. And let's do the same thing over here. Scale Z, make it flat. Shift, Alt, select them both and hit Control B to bevel them like this. And after that, let's grab these two faces. Hit E to scale it outside, scale on the X, and scale outside. There we go. After that, we can do this, scale Y minus 1, so that we can check it on the other side. So this is basically what we're doing when we scale it on the minus 1. So we're checking it like this, scale Y to the other side, like this. So basically, this is the shortcut, scaling it by minus 1. Okay, so now let's add this pipe. As you can see, this sign over here is connected to a small pipe, so we need to add it as well. So let's just duplicate a pipe from here. Select three points, Shift D, and let's move it right over there. Okay, so let's connect it to our sign over here. Oops, I need to drag it on the x-axis. Hit put it on the numpad, and let's see. So basically, we need to hit P to separate this one from the rest, because this one we need to scale it down a little bit. So let's go to the geometry settings, and let's figure out a way to reduce it down. So, over here, so the, this is the depth. I'm going to say take it to just 0.25. There we go. After that, we can hit S, Y, and hit 0 to flatten that edge. And let's take it like this. Oops, let's disable that snap tool. Let's put it on the middle. Also, let's check its location. 
it's actually starting from here. Let's take it down. After that, let's connect it to the to the wall like this. Hit easy. Let's go down. Okay, we can also do this. Hit zero and let's proceed. So let's take this one. I would like to make it sharp a little bit. You can see that now it's not sharp. So let's take this one up like this and insert another edge loop and let's take it down. Not that much. Something like this. Okay, so for this one, let's take it over here. Hit E again, go down. At this location, I would like to make this turn. You can see that we have this turn over here. So hit E Z, go outside like this. Hit E Y, and I'd like to make a turn over here. So E Y again, hit E X, E Y, and let's go inside. So E Y. I think I'm gonna be going along with this building. So hit E Y, and let's go all the way to this end. Shift tab to enable that snap tool. This is the shortcut for it. Good. Next, we must not forget these hooks, these small tiny hooks. So let's do them. So we can simply grab them from here. On the edit mode, let me grab one. Shift D, can I move it to the side over here? And let's snap it right over there. Hit period to zoom on it. Hit R Z and let's spin it by minus 90 degree. Also, let's scale it on the y-axis by 90 degree. There we go. Disable that snap tool and let's put it, for example, the first one. Let's put it over here. Also, we must check, we must check the scale. For the depth of this object i think we need to increase it a little bit yeah as you can see we need to, to do that so let's set for example to point 0.4 point 0.4 for me just so that we can make it look visible let's see i think we're good also we, we must not do any clipping over here so let me grab all of these faces over here and let's bring them outside just a little bit okay so now let's work on these on these uh, hooks so let's scale them up like this move it over here also let's check the location of it shift d we must have one on the top over here just like this shift d and let's move this one down i think we're having three over here you can see that also over here let's try this i'm gonna select these two and go to segment subdivide let's bring this one to the wall okay shift d move this one down like this and i think that's it for the hooks yes we got it we got it covered Okay, so now our next step is going to be to add these traffic cones that we're having on the bottom of our road. So let's do that. I'm going to select, start with this face, shift S, cursor to select it, shift A, I'm going to start. The starting point is going to be a cylinder shape. Also, I'm going to reduce, I think I'm going to keep it at 32. Yeah. So let's scale it way down like this. And let's select the top face and hit scale, hit S, and let's scale it way down. I'm going to take it up over here. And also we can do this, scale shift Z and make it like this. Okay, so now let's work on the base. So for the base first, I would like to extrude the bottom. So hit E and extrude it down like this. After that, we can hit Alt to select the entire row. Hit E again, scale Shift Z, and let's go outside. Next, I'm gonna go to the top, hit seven to go to the top and switch, hit Z, switch to the wireframe. And let's grab these edges. So scale X, hit zero. Let's do the same thing over here. There we go. Scale X, hit zero. Let's do the same thing for the top part. Scale Y, hit zero. Box select the bottom and scale Y, hit zero. Now let's check. Perfect. It looks really good. After that, let's go to object, shade smooth. But also over here, you can see this, the inside of our uh, traffic cone. So we need to consider that. Also over here, uh, I'm gonna take this one down a little bit. And let's create this kind of insets. So control R, let's take this one down like this. Another one like this and let me grab these faces hit all to select them and scale shift z and let's go outside just a little bit okay so now let's work on the bottom side i'm gonna check this one up it's pretty on the numpad to zoom on it so for the bottom i'm gonna grab this face let me scale it up a little bit hit e to go vertically and i think i'm gonna just delete this face so let's just delete it hit x and delete it so basically this is the inside of our uh, traffic con so i'm gonna check it over here and let's assign it I think we need to do some adjustment to the size i think yeah this base over here seems to be big a little bit so we can do do it the other way we can select this one scale it up and after that scale shift z and let's do something like this cool so let's just bring it back okay so let's hit zero and let's put it on the right location so gx the first one let's put it way over there also let's make sure that it's right on the top surface yeah, I think we're good. GX or shift, shift and move it up. Take this one and hold shift so that you can slow down that movement. There we go. So shift D, let's move it over here. 
it's zero let's check it again gx let's move it vertically or uh, horizontally and for our final one we need to drop it so shift d spin it on the y-axis oops on the x-axis let's spin it to something like this and let's take it down so let me check it up a little bit yep something like this and also let's spin it on the z-axis by let's say 30 degree let's check it from here it looks really good so let's move it like that gy also let's do this switch to the y-frame cool we can do this gy and let's go vertically gx i think now we will start having some clipping let me check yes indeed so let's just bring this one out we must not have any clipping in our scene so let's bring back i think we're good yeah we did it okay so now our next step is going to be to add the trash can and also i would like to add this air conditioner i've already created these models you can download them from the assets over here you can see this download button so after downloading them so you need to append them or to import them into our scene Okay, so basically after downloading these files and extracting the zip file, you will find these. So this is the air conditioner and this one is the trash can. So now we're going to be uh, appending these files from here into our scene. So I'm going to go to file, append and go to assets. Let's start with our air conditioner first. So this is the one and all I want is just the object. So I'm going to go to object and double click on this one. So I must, I must change its name, but that's fine. So cube.20. So double click on it and you can hit period to zoom on it and basically that's it. So this is our cube. Also I would like to scale scale y minus 1 to move it or to spin it on the other side. And let's put it at its exact location over here. Let me bring it out a little bit like this. And by the way, the, these models over here are already textured so you don't have to texture them. You can see they are already having this material, this metal material. Okay, so let's check its location from our camera's perspective. So I think we need to scale it down a little bit. Something like this. Also, let's make sure that it's aligned with our building. I'm gonna move it like this until these hooks are connected to the wall, which is correct. Okay, so now let's add our next object. It's gonna be the, the trash can. So let's go to File, Append. And let me go back from here. So trash can and let's click on this one. Go to object and duplicate or and click on the trash can. Okay, so now we have this one. I'm gonna check it up over here. Let's move it. I'm gonna put it over there. Okay, so let's scale it to the wall. Oops, scale on the z-axis. But something like minus 100. We must keep some kind of rotations on it. I'm gonna check it up a little bit like this. And move it to the side. Good. Hit zero and let's check. Yeah, it looks really good on the side over here. Even though we're not having it in our reference, I, I thought it was a good idea to add it. Okay, so my next step is going to be to duplicate this one and move it way to the back over here. So later on, we're going to be adding the details over here, but just for now, I'd like to put the duplicate of our trash can right over there. Also over here, let's, uh, for example, let's make it minus 75 spin it on the other axis let's see from here yeah it looks uh, really good okay so now our final step is going to be to add some pipes to these boat buildings over here i believe that we're having some vertical pipes like this and also over here we're having this one pipe so this is really important to to add these details so shift s cursor to selected shift a curve and let's start with a path i'm gonna spin it air y by 90 degree Let's bring it outside a little bit, move it down, and let's change its settings. So for over here in the depth, let's set it to 0.1, or maybe just 0.075, 0 0.075, oops, 0 0.075. Now that's too much, so 0 0.075. I think that's still too much, so let's set it to just uh, 0 0.5, yeah, something like this. Let's get it on the z-axis. Okay, on the top part, I would like to make a turn over here. So easy, go up, EX, and let's go inside. But you can see that we have some distortion problem. So this is because of our scale. Our scale is not set correctly. So you can hit Control A and let's apply that scale. And it's going to be fixed. Okay, so let's bring this one to the side over here. And what I'd like to do right now is to add the ray modifier to it. It's going to be on the, on the Y axis. 
minus uh, let's set it to one minus 1.5 well, I think we need to increase it. Let's try minus 2.5. Okay, let's go back to our reference and let's check. I think minus 2 is going to be fine. So let's increase that count to maybe 5. Over here, I will leave 1.75 is going to be great. Good. Let's move it to the side over here. There we go. So over here, you can see these pipes. I believe that we're having some pipes over here. So this is just to make our scene, our final scene looks interesting. So these details are important. Okay, so let's add the other pipe over here. So I'm gonna select again three points. So the reason why I select three points and not one, let me show you this problem. So if you select just one point, Shift D, let's move it over here and I'm gonna show you the problem that we're gonna be having. So it's gonna be like this, it's gonna be uh, sharp. I don't know how to fix this one. So I prefer this approach. If you know how to fix it, please let me know. So the approach that I use is to duplicate three points. So Shift D duplicates these three points. GX, let's move it over here. Also, let's separate hit P separate selection this object and let me remove that array modifier. Also, let's go over here and let's try to reduce it way down to just 1.5. I think that's a little bit too small. Let's set it to 0.2. 0.25 is gonna be gonna be the best okay also let's take our set origin origin to geometry let's let's uh, match match it with our reference like this take the top part all the way over here and let's make that turn I would like to make this turn over here on the top so hit E Z oops easy take it up and hit E X and let's make a turn E X again and let's go inside our building so over here, let's make that turn. Just ignore or to remove this clipping. There we go. So now we're having a nice turn over here. Good. Also, let me take it from the bottom over here and connect it to the ground. Really nice. Okay, so my next step is gonna be to add these. Uh, I'd like to add these objects over here. I don't want to keep it just like this. I want to make it look even more cool and even more interesting. Let's take it to the side. For example, this trash can. Let's move it over here. And let's add the details to it. So over here, Shift S, cursor to select it, Shift A, mesh. I'm gonna start with the cylinder shape. There is no need to have it at 32. I'm gonna just cut it by 2. 16 is fine. And let's get it way down. Gonna move it over here to create this object. Scale on the z-axis by 2. 2.5. Alright. Also for the hook, Shift D, duplicate this object. Scale on the Z axis like this. And we can simply select two faces from the back. Hit E and go inside the building. I think we need to make it closer a little bit. Let's also include this one. Let's bring, bring it like that. Good. After that, let's uh, duplicate this hook to the top part. Shift D and go all the way to the top. Really nice. After that, let's just join everything. Control G. Also, I'd like to join them with our hooks. I want to include all the hooks into one object. So Control G. And now everything is selected for the hooks. Everything is connected. Good. Also, let's make sure that, yeah, we need to right click, shade smooth. Cool. Control A. Let's apply the scale. And now that shadow is fixed. Alright, so basically that's it for our side, right side, so we finish working on the smallest details over here. So in the next lecture, we're going to be adding more details to the back side, this building particularly. Okay, so see you then.